Hello and welcome to another video where I will be trying to get rid of my car's smoking addiction. Wet smoke is usually associated with the Catholic Church, especially when uh, the Council of Cardinals decide on who to be the new Pope. They make a little bit of a fire and uh, some white smoke going up St. Peter's uh, chimney. But uh, with cars it's not really such a holy matter, but it's not necessarily uh, a sign of hell really. Um, with petrol cars, that usually is a sign of uh, head gasket failure. Uh, although that can also be a cause with diesel engines, but not so much. Uh, the causes for white smoke can be caused by a leak injector, because fuel is going straight through the engine and the exhaust without being burned. Very cold temperatures, uh, because diesel needs really high temperatures in order to combust properly. It could be the gold plugs that are not working properly. It could be uh, the glow plug relay, which activates the uh, glow plugs um, uh, in order for them to work. If that's not working, then fuel is not being burned properly. Uh, and that's basically one of the reasons why uh, uh, that's, they're probably causing the white smoke in my car and also on your car as well. With petrol cars, is a little bit different. Um, uh, they, uh, they work with... Um, uh, with spark plugs, which ignite the fuel and then just the explosion um, uh, the, that occurs. With the diesel cars, um, the way it works, they use glow plugs. They are not permanently on. They normally on um, for uh, just a couple of minutes when you first start up the engine. But they also have a function called the diesel preheat. So if... Uh, the car detects that there is a, a, a too low temperature. I think on the Volvo is from five degrees below centigrade. It activates what's called the preheat. Basically, I turn it on and there's a message or a, a light on the dashboard with a coil you've seen sometimes. Um, that means that the glow plugs are uh, heating up the chamber. And they call glow plugs because of that, because they glow into a red, bright color, heating up the combustion chambers uh, very nicely, so that when uh, the engine is ready to fire up, the fuel hits the the, the, the reaches the the combustion chamber, and then it causes the combustion. If the uh, combustion chamber is not hot enough there will be unburned fuel and in consequence it will create uh, white smoke in most cases especially when the engine is cold if there is uh, the, the causes for black smoke for example can be many others uh, black smoke is also fuel when the engine is nice and hot and there is excess fuel uh, that is not being burned but some of it is being born burned and that usually causes black smoke but this is the problem that i've got in my car it's white smoke on very cold mornings because once I start to drive the car after a few minutes there's no white smoke anymore it's gone completely and also if uh, it's a slight mild morning for example like it was in the last a couple of days um, it didn't create any uh, white smoke at all and uh, that's uh, the occasion where the, it didn't use the diesel preheat so if it's very cold mornings the diesel engines do have that uh, uh, function, which which is called the preheat, and then they keep warm for a while until the engine reaches a certain operating temperature. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, it doesn't only apply to my Volvo, but basically to all the diesels like this one, for example, that uh, have white smoke in very cold mornings, and then the white smoke goes after a while. My guess is that the glow plugs have gone because the uh, I've such I have the full service history of the car, and there's nothing showing of when the last uh, the glow plugs were last changed. Although this car has seven hundred twenty thousand miles, it's on its second engine, which is over three hundred and seventy, uh, and the latest invoice where the glow plugs show where it had new glow plugs was over two hundred thousand miles ago. That is a bit of a sign that they are really due for a replacement. Now, let's go pop the bonnet and uh, have a look at their condition. So here are the glow plugs that I'm going to use 
five of them because this is a five cylinder car they are manufactured by NGK and uh, they are very good quality just as good as ones from Bosch or Beru part number Y732J for this vehicle in particular and you can see the uh, glow plug at the bottom the tip that close when the heating element is on and then the top uh, which connects to uh, the uh, cabling to insert and remove I'm going to use uh, this deep socket number 10 with a universal joint on top which is very useful for hard to reach areas and um, I bought it on Amazon it is made by laser and I'm going to put the link on the description Now it is time for me to disconnect the cabling from the glow plugs. In this car it is a little bit tricky because some of the plastic casing has started to uh, uh, crack. I'm going to remove now the first glow plug, now, to, now that I've removed all the cabling and it's not uh, too hard actually they are a little bit tight but it is understandable uh, because they have been in the car for quite some time and this is the condition of the first one you can see that at the bottom uh, it is actually quite rusty which is the part that stays exposed to the elements it we can see that they have been here for a very long time but not many carbon deposits on the glow plug tip and the second glow plug is exactly in the same condition as the first one and the third one we already see some carbon deposits on the glow plug tip which indicates that this could be the failing one fourth glow plug uh, in good condition just like one and two the glow plug number five is very hard to reach it's behind the power steering pump and uh, the deep socket helped to uh, reach it but i still needed a long nose pliers to help to unscrew the last few steps and here it is and it is in uh, same condition just like uh, the glow plugs number four plug number three looks like it's the culprit that's causing the white smoke on the cold mornings go plug number two and then go plug number one you could see they also have some oil deposits but that's due to the fact that the valve cover gasket is leaking oil on it to the engine and you can see the top of the gold plugs are very rusty it means that they have been exposed to the elements for a very long time they, they look like have over 200,000 miles uh, uh, life in the engine the deep socket within a universal joint has been very useful you can see here that the glue plug sits right behind the uh, power uh, steering pump and um, and the way I tighten them is just basically finger tight and then about 25 newton meters of torque is indeed one of the most useful tools I've bought the uh, deep socket with the uh, top universal joint now it's time to uh, connect all the cabling back in make sure all uh, clicks in place nicely so that there are no loose connections double check that everything clicks properly in place all uh, connected and secure now I just need a nice very cold morning so that I can see if uh, replacing the glow plugs cured the white smoke problem
Perfect conditions to test this, diesel preheat and 5 degrees. A little bit of, tiny bit of smoke on sat up, which is normal, but no more white smoke. As you can see, it is five degrees today, air temperature, which means that the uh, diesel preheat had to work. No more smoke. That is result. And the engine management and light is on, but I knew about that. And there you go, problem solved. Uh, there, uh, I'm recording this uh, a couple of weeks after I have made uh, the replacement of uh, the um, glow plugs. And uh, there has been quite a few cold mornings and I never had a, a white smoke ever. There's a very, very, very tiny puff of smoke, very t a tiny little bit, but that is very common on diesels anyway. But it's something that dissipates extremely quickly, just and then goes, and nothing. Uh, it's it's almost insignificant, really. But no more white smoke uh, anymore, and the engine does seem to run a little bit better. Uh, not because the um, uh, all the glow plugs are, are working, but also it's probably clearing some of the soot of unburned fuel that uh, probably just uh, carbonized inside the combustion chamber. So uh, the fix that I've done for this car was good for mine one it can also be a cue for yours but always do a double check i this i did this on my car because i knew the glow plugs haven't been changed for a very long time and that was my very first port of call also it was actually a very cheap fix anyway so that's it and uh, thank you very much for watching if you would like to please like subscribe and please do comment i would like to hear your feedback i welcome any feedback positive or negative uh, uh, it doesn't matter uh, i'm not a professional as you know and uh, it's always good to know what are uh, what people think of what i do so thank you very much once again for watching and i'll see you on next video take care